Hi folks! After my first Dutch pour challenge, which I got from Catherine, I was told that I did some things wrong. <laughs> or actually I asked what I did wrong. And really a bunch of you directed me to Rinske and I had a look at her channel and looked up what she's actually doing. So a couple of you also mentioned in my comments what I should change. So mostly it was use less paint, don't tilt and my paint was probably still too thick. So I mixed up my paints the way I usually do not do. So this is just paint and water. There is no medium edit and there is no silicone edit at this time. But I'm really not sure if my paints behave the same and if they do anything without the silicone attached when it comes to cell creation. So I will give it a new shot. I will try to make this work on a smaller canvas this time just to get a feeling for it and I think her paintings are also pretty small. So this is a 20 by 20 canvas. I started off a bit larger which shouldn't change a thing too much but we will see. And this is a yellow, this is a gold, this is a purple, my tailor blue, a red and a bunch of white. Um, I'm going to try to make things as she does. So adding a white base layer, adding a bit of the colors in there, but not too much, which will be the most struggle for me. <laughs> adding some white around it, blow it over and spread it. Um, let's see how this turns out. Better than the first ones but I need to try this more and there is not so much happening when it comes to cells because of the silicone so I'm going to try to add some silicone to the paints and see if this changes things and I keep trying until I'm satisfied with at least one result. Well, I pretty much like this one. Perhaps still too much paint, I guess. Pretty sure too much paint. But this is a keep, I think. And I will try another one with less paint. So a couple of days have passed and everything is dried and let's see what you think about it. 
It looks pretty cool in this area here, but I don't really like the cells forming up so much in this area. And overall it looks a bit, well, composition-wise it's not the best thing I did so far. So this is not a keep, I think. The next one, I wasn't really sure which one the next one was, but I go with this one here. Actually it does not look so much Dutch poury anymore, but the overall look is pretty cool. I like what it did to the cells here in the other areas and this little celled up area here and overall it just looks fun and energetic. What do you think? Even more I like this one. It looks more like a negative space pour. So again pretty large cells, some gold lacing. I hope you can see it when it tilted against the light. We still don't have sun here so it's not as pretty as can be when I show it. So when the sunlight hits it the gold lightens up really really cool but well haven't seen the sun for a while <laughs> yeah but overall this one is I think the coolest from the entire set and the last one was the one on the blue background which well lost a bit of contrast here it's pretty cool perhaps it looks nice as a space scene topic because this outer yeah darker color here it is kind of cool and yeah so this is my second Dutch pour attempt perhaps I'm going to try it a last time with even thinner paint I don't know although I did a better job on those as I did on the first let's put it center for you <laughs> on the first attempt in my in one of my last videos they still are a bit cheated so I added silicone which I shouldn't do I'm not sure if this is my technique after all, So, but it is fun to do. So if you get great results, keep going. <laughs> For me, it's yeah, not my technique. But well, I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, of course. <laughs> Leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas or recommendations, whatever. Um, have a look at my Etsy store if you have some space on your walls and want probably support my channel. Social media links are down below, you know the deal, everything is down below in the video description. So thank you for your time, thank you for watching and other than that, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day, bye bye.